The film begins with a cargo ship being raided by criminals during a storm. Aquaman enters from the water, riding his massive seahorse storm. He then proceeds to clean the floor with the offenders while we hear his voice detailing his life over the last five years. After beating his brother Ocean Master, Arthur is now king of Atlantis, a role he dislikes. He has also married Mara and they have a son named Arthur Jr. Arthur's parents, Thomas and Atlanta, also assist in raising Jr. while Arthur attends to his duties as king and Aquaman. Jr. also appears to have inherited Arthur's capacity to converse with aquatic species. Black Manta is leading an expedition in the Arctic to get revenge on Aquaman. He has collaborated with marine biologist Dr. Stephen Shin and others to find Atlantis. Shin and another crew member find themselves plummeting into an ice pit. A creature that has been hibernating in the ice for a long time extends its tentacle and drags the crew member to his doom. David and his men subsequently retrieve Shin and discover additional animals frozen rigid in ice. David swims underwater and discovers the Black Triton. He combines the two pieces and has a vision of a monster monarch, Kordax, beckoning to David and promising to assist him in slaying his opponent if David frees him. Five months later, global temperatures began to rise at an alarming rate. Mara summons Arthur before the Council of Atlantis, commanded by Karshan, to debate the matter. Arthur feels it is time for Atlantis to disclose itself to the outside world, a proposition swiftly met with disagreement from everyone else. Arthur goes to have a beer with his father and talk about how difficult his duties as king are while the others disagree with him. In the Atlantic, David is searching for Orichalcum, a fuel source found in Atlantis that can power devices made by Shin. After discovering the Atlantean reserves of Orichalcum, David launches an attack on Atlantis. Atlanta and Mera arrive to protect the kingdom and fight Black Manta, but he uses his laser helmet to render Mera unconscious. Before he can kill her, Aquaman arrives to fight. Manta wields the Black Trident, granting him greater strength and power without his armor. Arthur pursues David, but he uses a device on his spacecraft to emit a sonic pulse, knocking Arthur out. In the aftermath, Karshan attempts to blame Arthur for the attack on Atlantis while Mera is hospitalized. Arthur discusses with Atlanta and King Nereus on how to cope with Black Manta's menace. They determine that David is utilizing Orichalcum to create global temperature increases. Arthur says that he needs ORM's aid to find Manta despite Atlanta and Nereus's reservations about attempting to free him from prison. Arthur believes he can trust his brother this time. Arthur enters the Fisherman Kingdom jail wearing a stealth suit and accompanied by Topo, a squid known for its camouflage abilities. ORM has been deprived of the majority of his water, leaving him malnourished and feeble. Arthur approaches his brother and battles off the brutal guards before releasing ORM, who is not pleased to see Arthur. The two seize control of two big monsters that pull them back up to the surface. More guards pursue the brothers, but ORM manages to reach the shore and regains his power, allowing him to defeat the guardians. Arthur and ORM then flee into the water before reinforcements arrive. The brothers sail to the sunken citadel and underwater pirate haven. They contact a criminal lord named Kingfish for advice on where to find David. When Kingfish refuses to assist, Arthur and ORM fight his thugs before Arthur places a helmet on Kingfish's head to drain the water until he reveals that he has heard reports of Manta sheltering in a dormant volcano known as Devil's Deep. After gathering enough information, Arthur smashes the helmet and departs with ORM. Shin stumbles upon David conversing in the mirror to Kordax, yet the image of the Wicked King vanishes before Shin can see him. After David leaves the chamber, Shin touches the Black Trident and sees visions of Kordax. David warns Shin that if he continues to pry into his affairs, there will be consequences. Arthur and ORM arrive on an island called Devil's Deep, which is encircled by a massive jungle. They flee from a swarm of enormous insects after discovering that most of the plant and animal life has transformed. Arthur body slams a statue, creating a bridge for him and ORM to traverse, and they push the statue over the ledge, killing the insects. Arthur and ORM continue to argue on the way to their target, but ultimately reach Manta's base and knock out some of his troops. Shin finds them and invites them to join him, unaware of David's mad and deadly nature. Before Shin can explain what's going on, David's right-hand lady Stingray bursts through the door, knocking Shin out. The enemies follow the brothers, with Stingray piloting a gigantic robot with tentacles. Arthur and ORM work together to destroy the mecha before Manta arrives to challenge them. They fight him, but before he can murder ORM, Atlantean soldiers commanded by Nereus invade and demolish the base. 
Manta and his minions flee after using the sonic pulse on Arthur again, but Mara saves him. Everyone heals on the surface and ORM begins to tell Arthur about the Black Trident, which he momentarily held while battling Manta. Kordax, King Atlan's brother, established his own country, Necris, the eponymous lost country, and fashioned the Black Trident in an attempt to gain control of Atlantis. It ultimately corrupted him, transforming Kordax and his subjects into monsters. To release Kordax, Manta must utilize blood from a direct descendant of Atlan. This might be Arthur, ORM, Atlanta, or Arthur Jr. Sure enough, Manta arrives in Amnesty Bay and assaults Thomas in his own home before capturing Junior and setting fire to the house. Arthur saves his father and leaves him with Atlanta to look after him. When Shin discovers that David has taken Junior, he sends a signal to the Atlanteans requesting that they come locate them. Arthur, Mara, ORM, Nereus, and the Brine King set off to find Manta together. David and Stingray track down Necris, who plans to ascend to Kordax's kingdom with Junior. Arthur summons the Monsters of the Deep to aid him. The marine animals overwhelm the frequencies in the villain's headquarters, resulting in an explosion that kills Stingray and other goons. Just before Manta is about to utilize Junior's blood, Shin hands him a sack containing a bomb and takes Junior to safety. After defeating the other thugs, Arthur and ORM face Manta, but Manta hits Arthur hard enough to draw blood and awaken Kordax. ORM grabs the Black Trident and begins to be possessed by Kordax's power. The Wicked Monarch attempts to pit the two brothers against each other, but Arthur appeals to ORM's finer nature, and the two conquer the possession. Arthur hurls the Black Trident to Kordax, who catches it. Shin then tosses Arthur his own trident, which he hurls straight through the Black Trident, shattering and destroying Kordax. With his death, Necris begins to deteriorate. David begins to plummet over a gap and Arthur attempts to help him, but he coldly sneers never and falls to his death. Everyone else escapes. Following their escape, Arthur and Mara commend Shin for protecting Junior, and everyone agrees to let ORM go free by believing he perished in the collapse. ORM bids farewell to his sibling and mother before swimming off. Arthur returns to Atlantis and follows through on his resolve to unveil the kingdom to the surface world. Atlantis emerges from the water before the entire globe and Arthur addresses the United Nations in an attempt to unify land and sea. He concludes his statement by proudly declaring that he is the ruler of Atlantis and, of course, Aquaman. During the credits, ORM indulges in a cheeseburger for the first time at Arthur's suggestion. As he enjoys his meal, he notices a cockroach crawling by and casually adds it to his hamburger.